Good day learners, welcome back to my class. For today's video, we are going to talk about the common atmospheric phenomena. Are you ready to learn? Let's go! There are different natural processes in the atmosphere that is responsible for the different atmospheric phenomena, such as breeze, monsoons, and intertropical convergence zone. These atmospheric phenomena are all driven by the same thing, the heat of the sun, also known as solar energy. To be able to understand why wind blows, why monsoons occur, and the truth behind the so-called intertropical convergence zone, we should start by asking, what happens when air is heated? Observe the clip carefully. What did you notice on the clip? Correct! The paper bag with a candle below moves up. This happens because the heat from the candle warms the air within the paper bag, making the molecules of the heated air move faster and spread out, which makes the air less dense and light. Therefore, we should always remember that warm air rises, and that's the reason why smokes and steams always move up. Have you seen hot air balloons and lanterns? These are some applications of the concept warm air rises. Now, if warm air is rising, what is its effect on the air in the surroundings? Observe the demonstration. What happens to the smoke or surrounding air when it was placed near the hole? Correct! The surrounding air moves toward the warm air that rises. In real life, during the day, the surface of the earth becomes warm because of the sun. Some parts of the earth will warm up quickly than the others. Naturally, the air above the warmer surfaces will also become warm. What happens to warm air? Just like what was mentioned earlier, it will rise. How is the air in the surroundings affected? It will move towards the place where warm air is rising. In short, air moves toward the place where warm air is rising. Whenever we feel the air is moving, that means that somewhere, warm air is rising. Do you remember that moving air is called wind? Every time you feel the wind, it means that air is moving towards the place where warm air is rising. Strictly speaking, wind is air that is moving horizontally. Now let's talk about breeze. We all know that the earth's surface is made basically of two things, land and water. When the sun's rays strike land and water, do they heat up as fast as each other? No, land heats up faster than water, and land cools down faster than water. When land surfaces are exposed to the sun during the day, they heat up faster than bodies of water. At night, when the sun has set, the land loses heat faster than bodies of water. How does this affect the air in the surroundings? Imagine that you are standing by the sea along the shore. During the day, the land heats up faster than the water in the sea. The air above the land will then become warm ahead of the air above the sea. You know what happens to warm air? It rises. So, the warmer air above the land will rise. The air above the sea will then move in to replace the rising warm air. You will then feel the moving air as a light wind, called sea breeze. What will happen at night when the sun is gone? The land and the sea will both cool down. But 
the land will lose heat faster than the water in the sea. In other words, the sea will stay warm longer. This time, the air above the sea will be warmer than above the land. The warm air above the sea will then rise. Air from the land will move out to replace the rising warm air. This moving air or wind from land is called land breeze. The place where warm air rises is a place where air pressure is low. In other words, the place where warm air is rising is a low pressure area. In contrast, the place where cold air is sinking is a high pressure area. Based on what you learned so far, in what direction does air move? From low pressure area to high pressure area or the other way around? Correct! It moves from high pressure area to low pressure area. Do you know what monsoons are? Many people think that monsoons are rains. They are not. Monsoons are wind systems. But these winds usually bring abundant rainfall to the country. And this is probably the reason why they have been mistaken for rains. In Philippines, the monsoons are called amihan or habagat depending on where the winds come from. The cold air that we experience from October to March is part of a wind system. This monsoon is locally known as Amihan or Northeast Monsoon. The wind moves from the high pressure area in the Asian continent towards the low pressure area in the south of the Philippines. The wind passes over some bodies of water before it reaches the Philippines. The wind picks up moisture along the way and brings rain to the eastern part of the Philippines. During the warmer months of July to September, the low pressure area and high pressure area near the Philippines change places. As a result, the direction of the wind also changes. This time, the wind will move from the high pressure area in Australia to the low pressure area in the Asian continent. This monsoon wind is locally called Habagat or the Southwest Monsoon. The monsoons Habagat and Amihan affect people in different ways. Comment down below the reasons why do farmers welcome the monsoons and why the fisher folks are not so happy about the monsoons. Lastly, we have the Intertropical Convergence Zone. Intertropical Convergence Zone is the place where winds in the tropics meet or converge. Take a look at the illustration. At the equator, the sun will be directly overhead, and the rays of the sun will hit the ground directly. At higher latitude, the sun will be lower in the sky and the sun's ray will strike the ground at a lower angle. Where do you think will it be warmer? It is clear that it is warmer at the equator than anywhere else. Because of that, the air above the equator will be warmer than the air over other parts of the earth. And you already know what happens to warm air. It rises. And when warm air rises, air in the surroundings will then move as a result. In time, the rising warm air will form clouds, which may lead to thunderstorms. Now, you know why weather forecasters often blame the intertropical convergence zone for some heavy afternoon rains. And that ends our video for today. Thank you for watching. Until next time.